Hey everyone and welcome for a new webinar regarding Crisp software. Today we're going to review five advanced features regarding our software and much more of that because we're going to review some wool and complete uh, features about Crisp and how they can help you to better engage with your community and your customers. So thank you for being here today. Uh, I'm Antoine, I'm the head of sales and marketing at Crisp and uh, today uh, we're going to review like the main advanced feature of CRISP. So uh, let's start and uh, if you're ready, just write ready in the comments and let's go. So um, CRISP is a customer messaging helps you to make customer messaging more simple, right? So um, I'll not expand myself about what is Crisp because you've already been using it for a long time, but uh, Crisp quickly is simply helps you to chat with customers, bring your team together and access user data, right? So there will be two kinds of uh, presentation today. First one is what your customers see and we're going to review the main feature and how they can uh, chat with you and have discussion with your companies. And then we're going to see what your teams can enjoy while using Crisp, okay? Uh, if you have any questions, just feel free to write them down uh, in the Livestorm uh, interface and I'll be happy to answer it at the end of the, of the webinar. So first is the live chat. Live chat is enabled by Crisp. This is one of our main feature. This is where we come from. Uh, live chat is a, a way for you to chat with your website visitors while they are browsing your website. It's compatible with every website. We also have some specific integration with Shopify, um, WordPress, PrestaShop, and a lot of other uh, cool websites. You can set it up in a few minutes. It's quite easy. It's multilingual and you can also create a chatbot, which we're going to review later on because this is one of the biggest assets you can set in your company to build great experience for your customers. So first is triggers. Triggers is one of the less, less used feature in Crisp and in our opinion, this is something really bad because we really think that triggers are a really good way to engage with your users while they are browsing on your website, okay? So if you do not have set any triggers yet, I'm going to show you how you can. And we also have written some great articles on our blog, which explains and gives you about 25 examples of how you could build great triggers, okay? So let's have a look at that. So, if you want to go to, to the triggers, you have to go to the plugin sections, which is down here, okay? Then, you have to click on it and look for trigger here, or just click here as it's always on the top. So, as you can see, uh, at Crisp, we've got some specific triggers targeting key pages of our website. How did we decide to create them? It's quite simple. In fact, we've analyzed our Google Analytics statistics and based on this, on the statistics, we've decided that, okay, this was the, our key pages. So for example, regarding the live chat pages, which is one of our assets uh, regarding our product, we've built some specific uh, messages based on the 10 most um, engage users regarding their uh, location, right? So we've written messages in French, Spanish, Portuguese, German, Chinese, Dutch, and so on. So that when uh, they come to these specific pages, they receive a message in their own language, which is much more efficient than uh, a message that would be written in English, for example, which would be the same for everyone. So um, you, you can set some specific actions. As you can see, show a message, open the chat box, play a sound, or, um, or maybe you can set them all three if you want. 
uh, opening the chat box is a bit aggressive in our mind so if you don't want to be judged as an aggressive company just be careful of that then uh, there's a few uh, triggers that can uh, enable these messages so these are uh, on live intent on click on link on pages on url parameters on user events on user data and after a specific delay right so um, based on that you can easily find the best way to engage with your customers so i'm going to, to explain you quickly what it what it looks like so on live intent means that when a user is about to leave the page it means that is mouse is going over here okay so we detect that and it helps you to make a pop-up using the chat box so that for example when a user is in your checkout process and that you do not want him to leave because what you want him to do is to buy your product then you can normally and easily set a, tr uh, a trigger that will send a pop-up message saying hey why are you leaving or uh, maybe i can help you or do you have any questions it's really interesting to get a better engagement and keep a uh, funnel process then you can you get the on click on link it means that for example i'm clicking on a button uh, request a demo well could pop up uh, messages and saying hey you want to request a demo then just chat with us uh, on specific pages, for example, as you can see here, on every pages of live chat, after a specific delay, then we push these messages. Um, then you could use on URL parameters. So on URL parameters means that it's using the parameters that you get on within your URL. For example, when you're doing Google ads or Facebook ads, it's always interesting um, to specify and improve the contextualization of your ads. So while you are setting specific ads, use the URL builder that are available on the web to add some UTM uh, sources and mediums so that you can personalize the messages when a user has clicked on a specific ad and when it arrives on your own website. Then on user event, we're going to go through this specific feature. What are user events and how you can set them up in crisp and on user data too. So I'm going to get back at it uh, later on, okay, after a specific delay. And then um, you get some specific behaviors like, okay, I send from the website only if you are online on first visit, uh, if no other trigger I used and from a specific country. Okay. And then regarding devices, so desktop or mobile. Great. So um, let's have a look at questions. Is it possible? Is it possible? Yeah, the presentation will be available at the end. No problem about that. Um, yes, uh, don't, is it? Yeah. <clears throat> Great. So let's keep on uh, looking at the other. stuff that we get to see. So triggers, as we said, key features of Crisp. Of crisp. Ratings too. Uh, ratings are sent at the end of every conversation, one hour after the conversation is resolved, and it helps you to get feedback about how your users felt uh, about dealing with your customer support. It's always nice to get some feedback and uh, being able to improve it too. So email. Um, crisp helps you to build um, a shared inbox, right? So within Crisp, you can centralize all your messages from every customers which are incoming, and it helps you also to keep a track, to keep, tra keep sorry, to keep track of email that you are sending to your customers, so that there's no more um, uni uh, ununified data regarding your customers there's only uh, a transparency and uh, an easy way to reach uh, conversation and historic data about what has been said and what you know was the different conversation that your sales rep or your customer support had with this specific customer so yeah it's really great to to, to set this up because it will really help you to improve productivity as emails are also available to um, be improved. So 
Facebook Messenger 2 is available. It's an integration which helps you to answer from crisp to uh, Facebook Messenger messages that are coming from Facebook, for example. Uh, Twitter also, Telegram, Line, and Twilio, which are uh, which is SMS feature that will help you to better answer and improve your customer support regarding specific um, channels, which is the SMS in that case. So I'm going to show you quickly uh, where is it and how you can set them up. So once again, you got to go to plugins, and then you have to look for um, the different integration that have been through. So if you're looking for line, just write line, then you'll be able to set it up. It's also the same for Twitter, Messenger, email. So as you can see, um, there's lots of information about email, but you can identity, verify, redirection, email domain, and all this stuff can help you to create a shared inbox. So uh, if you got any questions, just feel free to ask and we'll be happy to answer. Great, so. So what your team sees. Um, we've been able to see how your customers can get in touch with you, right? Uh, we've seen live chat, we've seen different channels like Facebook Messenger, Twitter, SMS, and so on. Now we're going to look at how your team is able to answer your customer's request and how Crisp has been built to help you succeed at being the best uh, customer support ever. So at first, the inbox, the shared inbox. As I told you earlier, Crisp helps you to build an awesome uh, shared inbox, which will gather all your communications channel into one dashboard, which is much more easier for your company and will help you to better um, answer your customers by being more reactive, by being more efficient, by being more um, also knowledgeable about who you are talking with. Do not have to switch anymore from any uh, software, just use Crisp and you'll get all your data into one software. So, as I said, answer from Crisp, web desktop and mobile apps are available for free that you can download on our website. These are collaborative, it's multilingual too, because it's translated in more than nine languages. Um, the conversation, so, you can get context, you can answer to, with multiple agents, there's a resolved and unresolved status, unlimited history, unique flow per customer, and you can push your own data. And this is a thing that we're going to go through later on. So the candid responses are a thing that will help you, help you to um, improve the first response time, right? First response time is something really important for your company because it has been proved over the last few years that the more you answer faster, the more the customer is happy, right? So for sure, you need to have, um, it, it, the answer needs to be uh, efficient, needs to be right, but if you are able to answer faster, then it's really good thing for your company, for your image, and also for your customers too, because they'll be able to get the answer to the question really fast. So um, these kind of responses are uh, really important to set. So let's have a look at that. So these kind of responses are available in the settings. They are available here, message shortcuts, right? So there's um, the ability to create your own. So if you want, just add an exclamation mark, then you're right. You had a specific category. If there's none, you just can add one, and then you enter your messages. So uh, to show you some example at, of how we at Crisp use it, um, I'm going to, to introduce you to some specific candy responses that we've built. You can also call them shortcuts. So, for example, we are asked a lot about 
these competitors, okay? So to help you to help everyone in the company to be able to answer questions about, okay, how do you differ differentiate with Drift or with AppSpot or with Intercom or with Zendesk, then we've, take, we've taken the time to write some uh, shortcuts that are available for everyone in the team, which helps like, you know, the, the support guy, um, the sales guy, or even the, like, the financial guy to answer uh, if he has to and without having to deal with any like problem of knowledge because it's something that has been written by someone that has the knowledge. Um, another example regarding um, for example our product so it's you know how does it work this feature or regarding videos we got lots of videos regarding our software and it's always nice to have uh, kind of responses that are available regarding some dedicated features so for example how did it work with telegram how did it work with messenger how did it work with the inbox how does it work with analytics and stuff like that there's also some specific information for the sales rep for example so just to show you i just have to personalize the name here and then my template is already written. So really it's a huge amount of time that has been that is saved every day while I'm chatting with my customers because it's, yeah, it's something that you do not have to take care about. Okay, um, let's have a look if there is any question. Nope, okay, looks good. You can also enjoy a rich chat experience, audio and video calls. Uh, audio and video calls are available from Crisp and does not need any uh, additional plugins, okay? It's really interesting because you can combine a video call which humanize the customer relationship uh, while taking control of the user screen by using a uh, magic rose, for example, which uh, will help you to understand why your user is stuck and how you can help him. So it's always great to combine these two features that are very efficient. Okay, so now let's have a look at the five key features, advanced feature that we're going to review. So first one is the, uh, is the thread. Uh, thread are like good old tickets, right? It helps you to add some more context about why the customer is coming and having a chat with you. Then segments and events, uh, how to enrich user profile, how to link crisp to your back office, and then how to send fake messages uh, from the user side. So first is the thread. Right. So, uh, in order to, to to create thread, you'll have to use our JavaScript SDK, um, which is uh, available on our help desk. Okay. So then, uh, here is an example of how you can write uh, a JavaScript method, e and um, these are the, the few use cases, okay? Creating good old tickets, improve customers' requests and knowledge. Um, this is something really interesting for your company because it's something that has been really asked over the last few months uh, in, to be able to, to create some thread. So right now with Chris, you are able to create thread that will help you to improve uh, customers' uh, request knowledge so that you can better know why your customers are contacting you and you can also better follow the, um, the thread in the conversation. So that's really great and really, really we are really happy to tell you that it's live since last Friday. So um, segments. Segments are uh, one of the key features in Crisp because um, it helps you a lot. It helps you a lot to uh, qualify your customer's life cycle. Okay, there are um, multiple choice 
or, or multiple way of using them, but one of the key solution of using segments, which would, would be to use them as a way to qualify the customer's lifecycle. So how you can do that, you can assign a segment to a user or a conversation um, in different ways. Using the JavaScript SDK first, or the chatbot, or into the inbox as it's shown in this screen, right? So on the right side of your inbox, you get the ability to add segments. So for example, here, there are three segments. The chat, which means that the user came to chat with us uh, using the live chat. Then we know that it's, it's a user, so it, it, we know that it's, it has it, uh, he has already registered and then is a customer. So we know that he's a paying customer. Okay. So it's always interesting to know this information so that your uh, agents are able to better chat with them. So all you can set uh, segments using uh, the JavaScript SDK is quite easy. In fact, just have to use this um, JavaScript line and that's it so you just have to take the time you just have to take the time with your uh, tech guy to set and qualify your customer's life cycle and decide when you have to assign the segment to your users right so for example you can you could totally assign a segment when a user is just visiting your website then you could also assign another one when a user has signed up and so on it's really up to you. You get to work on your customer's life cycle to then decide how you can set them up. So a few use cases here yeah, would be, for example, adding some segments for the traffic coming from Google AdWords. It could be really nice for you to be able to uh, know how many segments have been assigned regarding um, traffic coming from Google AdWords. So as I said, it's also a good way to, uh, to qualify the customer's life cycle. And then it's also a great way to um, filter uh, and create some advanced filter for your campaigns that we're going to review a bit later on. Events. So um, events are uh, a way for users to um, set things up. So as you can see, you can, use the JavaScript SDK or the chatbot to better um, assign events to the conversation. So as you can see on the left side here, uh, there's a few way to show events in the user profile, okay? So you can add colors and you can add specific names so as shown here and you can also add value to these events, okay? So as you can see here, user sign up, email and name, you could also add some specific information about the type of plan that the user has chosen or the type of product, the amount uh, of the, the good is bought and stuff like that. So it's really interesting once again, because it helps you to uh, follow micro moments, optimize customers' experience, and automate in-app campaigns, because events are the only way for you to create a drip campaigns in crisp, and so you'll have to set them up uh, really carefully, because they will help you to enhance the way uh, you are chatting with your customers in an automated way. So it will help you to gain and uh, really improve your efficiency while talking to your customers. So once you've done the job of using segments, then take the time to set events because they are complementary and totally complementary. So conversation. Um, enriching user profile is always important for your company because your agents needs to know who they are talking with, right? So more than events and segments, enriching user profile is in fact setting your own data into crisp so that your agents are able to know who they are talking with. So there's two ways to do that, three ways even though. Um, using the chatbot, using the JavaScript SDK, or using the API or the inbox. So the API would help you to set data in real time between your back office and CRISP. Uh, the JavaScript SDK 
could help you to enrich also data based on user interaction on your website, for example, or on your product. And then the chatbot uh, would help you to gain user data by, for example, improving or qualifying the user before sending it, uh, before sending him to a, a sales rep, for example. It will also help you as a use case, for example, to create fine-grained trip campaigns because uh, you'll also be able to segment and filter um, the user profile based on specific data that you would have pushed uh, through uh, the different ways that we just reviewed. Okay, another one is the um, way to link crisp to your back office, okay? so. There is a specific way that could help you to um, unify and merge all your uh, conversation from unknown visitors to uh, an existing customers, in fact. Because sometimes on some website, well, the user isn't recognized until he logs he logged in. It, for example, when you are browsing on an e-commerce website, then uh, until the user uh, has had a product to his cart and then that he needs to go through the checkout process. This is the way, this is the moment where he needs to log in, right? But before, there's no way to know and he could have already talked to you uh, asking questions about, you know, uh, product, asking about delivery and all this stuff. So you really have to Merge, merge data so that you do not lost any information. So this is why um, CRISP offers you the ability to um, link uh, CRISP to your data, right? So using a UUID library, which is available on our website uh, regarding the, um, the, the, all this information, you'll have to link uh, between website ID and the UUID by using the code that is available on the help desk. So once it's done, data will be merged uh, automatically when link is done between unknown visitors and existing customers. So this is something really important that will help you first to unify and centralize customers' data and once again, get more context about customers' relationship. And then conversation. So, um, conversation is uh, the use of JavaScript SDK and this is the only way you'll have to use a crisp push do uh, message sent text and hello there it's really easy to do uh, for example at crisp we've integrated it into a button uh, which is uh, request a demo button then triggers uh, the live chat so um, trigger a chatbot scenario with then, without any messages from the user is something that is impossible without uh, this trick, okay? So if you ever want to use uh, the chatbot without having to uh, ask the user to start a conversation, then it's a good way for you. But be careful, don't be too... Um, aggressive or using this feature because it could get back to you. Okay. Um, we, we've seen the, the, the five main features. Uh, is there any question that you have right now or is it clear for you? Really feel free to ask, the, ask a question if there's something that you didn't understand. So chatbot. Um, chatbot helps you to create automated scenarios and uh, helps you to automate repetitive tasks uh, by preserving uh, and also helps you to preserve human resources uh, because chatbot is able to take the first level uh, support on its own and then redistribute the, the user based on the data that he got. So let's have a look at this and I'll show you how it works and where, how you can uh, set them up. So you have to go to plugins. Then you look for a bot here. Here's the thing, then you can click on the bot. 
So as you can see, we got three uh, active scenarios on the boat. We'll go over the demo website, which is a boat that automates the pre-sales process uh, for our company by um, being enabled on a specific word, which is the word demo. So as you saw earlier, uh, we got a trigger, which is a button on our website, which on a click on the link sends uh, uh, messages in the chat box. Okay, so let me show you. So we added the show compose to make it more human-like. Then we had the presentation once again, because when you met someone, it's always nice to present yourself. So it's crispy chatbot. So yes, I'd like to go through a demo. So I've written, as you can see, you can build trees. So yes, or no. And depending on the answer, well, it's not the same results. Okay. So one thing that's great is that in fact, the chatbot brings and gather every features of crisp and helps you to automate and enrich the user profile also. So as you can see, you can set segments. So it's a great way, for example, to create routing rules based on um, the data that the chatbot had, for example, because you can also mention operators and stuff like that, so that it's completely automated. So um, then, as you can see, you can enrich the user profile by setting the user nickname. And then there's a tree which helps us to qualify the user. Okay, how many employees do you get? For example, more than 30. Then you, we store this data in the user data. And we asked for a last information, which is the email, which will help us to send an email through the campaigns feature, okay? So, as you can see, then we mentioned one operator, we resolved the chat, and we check for the user language, which then push a user event, with, which we, we've seen earlier, and this event triggers a campaign, okay? This campaign here is called Book Your Demo with Crisp, and it integrates a Calendly link into uh, the link, which is sound like that. And you can totally personalize the content. As you can see, the event is here, okay? So as I said, different ways to set events, chatbot, JavaScript, SDK. And that's it. And it really works really fine. Do you have any questions regarding this feature? Just feel free to ask. So, um, Crisp also integrates a um, CRM into his own uh, solution. So I'm going to show you quickly what it looks like and how you can use it. So this is the, the place, is the contacts, then you can see all the information. You can also have a look at uh, some specific search feature. I'm looking for Baptiste, and Baptiste is here. I can also look for uh, and create advanced filter to, 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 to be, you know, much more uh, efficient. So based on the contact segment, for example, I want to show all the, all the, inform, all the users that have the lead segment uh, that are assigned. And there we go. As you can see, there's the data. And there's lots of stuff that you can do thanks to um, these kinds of uh, feature. So about the knowledge base. The knowledge base is a great way for your team to build um, an incredible customer support and a self-service help desk, okay? So there's also great articles uh, available on our blog, which helps you how you can set a great help desk on your own website and which are the uh, efficient way uh, you can set 
on your own so that you can improve and as we've written in our own uh, presentation reduce by 40 percent the number of requests uh, thanks to a knowledge base so it's fully customizable uh, you can use your own domains so that it means that if you really want to use it as uh, help.yourwebsite.com then it's completely available and will also, it will also help you to uh, get more visibility because the more you write content the more Google uh, likes you and the more uh, you get traffic on your website. So retarget customers We've been through this um, feature a bit earlier on while uh, we were talking about the chatbot. Um, the chatbot is great also because uh, it's, it completes and it gathers all the information, but this feature is also great because it helps you to send two kinds of campaigns. Um, there's one-shot campaigns and uh, automated campaign, okay? And there's also a full analytic review that will help you to better uh, engage with your customers. So there's a plain text editor and um, you can choose the channel you are targeting, chat box or email or both, it's up to you. You can also enjoy a personalized IP so that you can uh, send lots of emails but be careful, you really have to warm it up before sending a huge amount of messages. Then we got some third-party answers, if needed for sure. So we got the Slack uh, integration, which helps you to which helps you to reply from your messages, to reply to your messages from Slack. Sorry. We also got the Zendesk integration that will help you to reply from Zendesk to your user if you want to keep, for example, the, the good old tickets that uh, Zendesk are, is offering. Then we got some specific integration, Zapier, AppSpot, Salesforce, Pipedrive, Zoho, and uh, that's, that's the main key so a few presentation of our customers yeah they, they really love our product mailjet rakuten uh Kid, and renault are one of our users but not the only one because we're working with more than 100,000 customers right now and that's it so if you have any questions now just feel free to write them down and i'll be happy to answer it